I'm getting on the back. All right. 67 fastbacks here picked up on Monday in Denver. It's Wednesday. It's here. We're going to go get it. Let's hope the winch remote works. I didn't change the batteries in this one. It's supposed to have 90 feet. Wow, is this thing clean? Holy shit. Dude, this thing should have a motor in it and it doesn't. Drive shafts in it? Oh, I don't know. Might be putting a motor in this one. I'm so excited about this car. I haven't had a surprise this good in a long time. Title keys. I got title. Push fender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 67 or an 8. I can't the steering wheels out of it. They're the wrong steering wheel. It's got a 68 hood. Weird, because it's a 67 title. It's a 67 fin with a 68 hood. But the 68 hoods have those turn signals in them. Those like little vents. Okay, you know what's Totally nuts. This is like the cleanest. This, this car has zero rust in it. Like the, the floors are totally mint. Throw your phone underneath there. It's crazy. That thing is mint, mint, mint. Dude, the gas tank's probably good. This car's crazy. What does it say? Oh, look at the sticker Latino Auto Repair, Denver, Colorado. That's cool. I want to look underneath the hood. This car's throwing me off a little bit because it's had so much stuff done to it. It's got some headlights, a speed square. That's random. Coors Light, of course. I mean, what else would be coming out of Denver, Colorado? Monster Weekend. That's for Joe. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They need that. Look, it came with insurance. Okay, so what we care about is... So it looks like the original color is an Arcadian blue. That would be this too. But, and then this. Look how solid that is. These are usually all gone. Wow, that's awesome. That is so good. It has a GT rear valance, a 68 hood, but the brake pedal says disc brakes. And it has disc brakes. So that would make it a GT. Stripes don't mean anything at this point in its life, but the rear valance, disc brakes on the brake pedal, that's not something somebody would really go to the trouble of changing. If you're gonna put disc brakes on your non-GT Mustang, you're just gonna do it, and you're not gonna worry about the brake pedal. But the brake pedal is a factory thing. You could show them. It says disc brakes on the brake pedal, and that's a pretty good sign that the car is probably a GT. Uh, this physically has disc brakes on the front, but we're also going to run a Marty report on it today and I'll know where it was built, what dealer it got shipped to, how many of them are like it, how rare it is, all of that stuff. I'm going to order that today. Right now I'm going to throw a strap on this thing so we can get it back to the shop safe. This is a, this is a really good shape. I can't find a rust hole on this thing. I'm going to drive Shane's camera. Hello. Are you on the phone too? Yeah. Front frame rails are incredibly solid. Everything under this car is solid. From the torque boxes, the frame, the floors. There's your disc brakes. This thing's a, this is winner winner right here. You know how coated it is yet? A coat. A coat. Man, that thing is awesome. They didn't leave us any money. 
just a bunch of stuff about the car prior registrations and stuff which is always good to have bdm performance exhaust no address must have been really local something financial services golden colorado denver colorado car was always right there in colorado colorado registration yep maybe we'll try and find this guy alicio bustos can not keep an extra honey in here something sir san pedro i don't know what that says somebody that speaks spanish tell me what this is my spanish is terrible i can say thank you i need please and thank you and please bring me a water for my couple of vacations i took agua por favor let's go get a marty report to this thing is. Perfect. Good shot. Wow, that is clean. Wow. I'm probably gonna be a dirt bag and steal the exhaust off of it. Yeah, okay. I don't know, what is it? Uh, we could use it maybe. It is fucking clean though. It is really clean. Torque boxes are good. Yeah, so that drive shaft will hook up that transmission. Yeah it is. Alright, well that ain't no big deal. No. Yeah, we'll get the transmission out of it. Yeah, this car power steering and AC, I think. We might have to take the exhaust off the car, make getting the transmission out easier, and then we don't have to tie it up. Yeah, they uh, up the drive shaft. The they more than one. I have to get another one. Yeah, a cross member. Yeah. Well, let's plan on doing that. So what, you're taking the exhaust out? Yeah, because you know what, the exhaust is put on here really janky anyways. Come look how they hung it. It's like very low and it looks like shit. How they hung it is hilarious. Yeah, the exhaust is no good on this car. Just, it'll be easy to get off. I'd just whiz it off. I'd whiz them welds on the side of the pipe and just let it fall. I don't know about getting that out over the rear end though. No, you'd like have that? to cut it. Yeah, did they weld that all in? Yeah. Then I wouldn't mind leaving it if you think we can get the drive shaft and the transmission out leaving it. Okay. That's up to you. All right. So the drive shaft on what slip out of the transmission side, and we just got to yank it off the rear end, right? Yeah. And then we want to mark this drive shaft, okay? We want to mark this that it came out of a 67 Mustang, mm -hmm. even though it might not fit because it's a different transmission. It, it'll at least be a better shot than a random one in the pile. This car don't need no. nothing in the front suspension or anything. Drive shaft first. Yep. I gotta go forward, and I gotta drop the back down. Okay, I gotta take the end, yep. and then out. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, so I got it. Right there. Okay. Go for me, and then out. Before you get out? Yeah. I got it. Yep. Alright, man, go on yours. I have to hold this thing up with the fucking... Okay, I'm gonna die. Can that bend on? There you go. Yeah, I'll just twist it. There we go. Sweet. It'll okay, like okay. twist it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's okay, like that. Yeah. Okay. You want your head behind you. Is 
if it comes down. Okay, now. Okay, I got this. Can you turn? Yeah, you got it? I got it. Be able to get that out of that brake line. Okay. Got it. All right. Go ahead. Okay. There. Good. <laughs> Hello, bro. Hey, Jane. Yeah, what's up? Get your gloves. Grab, uh, grab this bell housing. I'm gonna take, uh, these two bolts out. There's one here, and there's one on the other side. Okay, here it comes. Okay, now come, come back. back a little, bit. A little bit squeezy. Good. You're free from it. I should pull it right through. Yep. 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 You're through. I got here. You're good. Balance that. Yep. Okay. Yep. I got it. I'm gonna raise the rack up. Copy. I'm gonna slide it out. All right, we're about to clean this John out. So, there's not too much stuff in here. We're about to put all the small pieces in here. Not that much in here either. So, trunk's all cleaned out. What I really need to do the last is just you know, get the vacuum in here and just vacuum this out a little bit. Glass is swept up. Sweet. All right, that's it. I know that was a boring video. They're just watching much to do to this car. The reason I took the transmission and the exhaust out is, while well, the exhaust is in the way of the transmission, you're not taking the transmission out and leaving the drive shaft, so that had to go. The transmission was just hanging in there. It was really just a more of a safety thing for shipping more than anything. The transmission just doesn't belong to that car. It's a 90s T5, uh, Ford Warner trans, with a broken ear on it. It was kind of just didn't need it and Joe Bates needed the input shaft off of it so that's why we took the, the transmission out he needed parts from that trans for his car that he's built at home so this car is all done we're not going to get into painting it or anything because this is an excellent car
for restoration. It's a good code car. It's an excellent condition car. This is a really, really easy project for somebody because it really only needs a little itty bitty amount of rust repair. On the one quarter back here, there's about a, I don't know, tennis ball sized hole on the side of the car. So, good title on it. Came out of Colorado. I don't know what the car is worth. I'm going to figure that out over the next couple of weeks. If you're interested in the car, it's for sale. Give me a call, 412-335-6100. We can talk about it, but unfortunately, in the last 12 months, the market on old cars or really anything that isn't a necessity has been going like this. So I really don't know. This car two years ago, when the market was in a tight, probably like 35 grand. Today, I don't know. It's worth what somebody will pay for it. So give me a holler if you're interested. I definitely want to get it sold, but it's not something I'm really able to put a price on. Hit up ironcitygarage.com, get yourself a t-shirt, and we'll see you in the next video can't really show you what's around i know we got this mess in front of the car this whole place is a mess because i just bought like nine more fastback mustangs and you're going to get to see them very soon in about two weeks we're going to have a killer video out probably going to be our best best video we ever put out definitely the biggest pick i ever did especially the biggest pick we ever caught on film anyway so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit the like button but if you hit the subscribe button, it's free. All that's going to do is let you know when we put out this awesome video so you don't miss it. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, if you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on a YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback Mustang that needs work like these ones I have on my trailer, or if you have an old pickup or again, a convertible Impala cab over truck, whether it doesn't matter where you are, we buy nationwide here in the United States, all the way as far as California. I've had stuff, New Mexico, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, high desert stuff we love. So, or if you're in the East Coast and it's a rusty Mustang or a rusty convertible Impala, that is fine. We typically don't buy many trucks on the East Coast, but I buy a lot of cars on the East Coast. If you have cab over parts also, especially for these early Fords, I'd be interested in that. And never hurts to send me an email or a text ironcitygarage at gmail.com you're welcome to send me an email or a text message probably the best you kind of get an instant answer that way 412-335-6100 i'd love to talk to you hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages